Hello everyone and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So in this video we want to prove that n squared is big O of n squared using limits. And in the blue rectangle here I have the limit asymptotic theorem which states that the limit as n approaches infinity of a function that we call f of n divided by another function that we call g of n equals some limit l. Now if l is equal to uh, zero, then our function f of n belongs to or is little o of the function g of n. Now, if our limit l is equal to c, where c is some constant value, then our function f of n belongs to or is big theta of g of n. And last but not least, if our limit l is equal to infinity, then our function f of n belongs to or is little omega of g of n. Okay, so you may initially say, well, this theorem does not show anything about big O, but indeed it does. So if we have theta, we have big O and we have big omega. And I explain here right now. So if we have a function that we call f of n and it belongs to big theta of another function that we call g of n, then f of n also belongs to big O of g of n and f of n belongs to big omega of g of n. Okay? So this is important for us when doing this proof. All right, so now let's go ahead and get started. We first need to identify our function f of n. And f of n is equal to n squared. And I got that from the problem up top right there. Okay, and we need to identify our function g of n. So g of n is equal to n squared. And I got that from our problem up top as well right there. Okay, now what we're going to do is rewrite that limit theorem. So we're going to get the limit as n approaches infinity of f of n divided by g of n. And we know that this is going to equal some limit value, but let's replace f of n for n squared and g of n for n squared. So now our equation will look like this. So we get the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared divided by n squared. Okay. And if we simplify this, we get the limit as n approaches infinity of 1. Okay. So now I'm going to go down here and continue. This is equal to just 1, the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 is just 1. And I'm going to rewrite that, make it look a little bit better. Okay, my 1s just don't look that great. Um, let's try it one more time. Just going to put a 1 like that. All right. So this is equal to a constant value, or this is a constant value that we're going to call c. And c, of course, is our limit l. So l is equal to c, c is equal to l. So now we go back to our theorem and we look at the case where this is true, where L is equal to C. And that's our second case here. I'm highlighting it in red. Okay. And we see that if L is equal to C, then our function F of N belongs to big theta of G of N. So down below, I'm going to put three dots, which stand for therefore. And we're going to put f of n belongs to or is big theta of g of n. And this implies that n squared belongs to or is big theta of n squared. And this implies that n squared belongs to big O 
of n squared. Okay? And that is our answer. And we are done proving that n squared is or belongs to big O of n squared. All right? So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Please uh, become a subscriber to my channel for more videos like this. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe other people will find it helpful as well. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.